right, now we're gonna cover how to create our first chart in Google Spreadsheets. Woo! So, first of all, what I wanna do is let's create a list of countries and how many, let's say, how many gold medals they have. Cool? So let's say USA, China, um, Australia, and Russia. Seems like a good, good list. So what we'll do is we'll add up all of the gold medals that each of these countries have. So you can do that by dragging as I'm doing here. So we're saying sum all of these, all the data in these cells. So we have 115 for the US. Go USA. China. We'll do the same thing. 41. Some for Australia as well. And lastly, Russia. Okay, and then we'll do just a quick total, which is we'll make a sum of all of the values above it. So now what we wanna do is let's, I think this data would be best represent, represented as a pie chart. That way we can see of the total number of gold medals in this data set for these four countries, you know, and you can see Google will suggest that, how many does the US have? So we'll simply select our data We'll select the two columns. So we want to we want the data to be labeled US. So we're going to select the names column, and we obviously want the number of gold medals. So let's say let's even do country and gold medals. Insert chart. Now let's say we want to do this. So boom. Now what we have is we have a nice little chart that says the num the percentage of gold medals that each country's won. You can see they're color coded. This is called a legend. Uh, we can call this um, percentage of gold medals. Great. Phenomenal. Now we have this chart. So you can see, you know, Australia has 18.8% of the gold medals of the countries that we're looking at. The U.S. has 52.8%. And you can do cool things like edit the chart using this. So we could say, um, let's see, we can do advanced editing, which will allow us to change the font, the customization, the size, percentage. We could do value. So you can change the values in each of these. Uh, we could change the type of bar chart, so we could add like a little donut hole. You do a 3D, you could maximize it, so make it bigger. All of these kinds of things. You can change the color of the individual data, all that. So very, very cool things. Now, other things we can do. We can publish this chart. We can move it to its own sheet. So we create chart one sheet that only has this data. We'll delete that. And now when we go back, oops, that's our old sheet. You can see we have this data. So now let's say we want to not insert a pie chart. Let's insert another type, another kind of chart. Like, uh, let's see, let's do, we can see what would happen if we did a bar, or sorry, a column graph. If we did a bar graph, if we did a line graph, you know, there's all these different things that we can do area graph column bar scatter we can't do a scatter plot but we can do just about everything else i believe even a map hey oh there we go so as you can see there's a ton of things you can do uh, i want to show you a couple things that are worth noting when it comes to making charts 
The first thing is that you can use, you can select this to, sorry, I'm going to change this back to a chart that makes more sense. You can use this to select what row, like the data that you've included, where if you see, or if you hit this little button, it goes back to the select data range. We've, in, we've included country and gold medal, which is the title of our data set in our data set. And now we can do things like we can change this and you'll see the changes will be reflected. Oops, I just dragged that down. I didn't mean to do that. So undo, cool. We can change, so this is, what this is saying is that it's saying select from sheet Olympic athletes, K216, which is this, through L220. Now, if we wanted to, we could say, let's do L221 and see what happens. And now you see total is part of our data set. That doesn't really make sense for what we're doing, so we'll want to remove that, make it back to 220, and we'll be good. So now, if we want to say use row 216 as headers, that's the country and the medal count row. Yes, definitely. And so what you could see now is that it marks the number of medals as gold medals. Google is smart enough that it knows what you're trying to communicate. You can also hit this handy little thing, which is switch rows and columns. Uh, oftentimes, if you're doing complex charts or, you know, in Excel, it can be difficult to figure out what row of data is going to be displayed as a chart and what row of data will be displayed as a row. So with this handy little button, you can simply switch it. So in this case, it's saying gold medals USA 115, gold medals Australia 41, and the like. So we're switching the rows and columns of the data that we told Google Spreadsheets to use. So now, again, we can simply use any kind of chart that we want, and these are just, and then hit insert, and there you go. You can do things like title the different axes, simply type in here. Uh, you just click on that and then you're good. You can share this, you can publish this online on its own. You can sh create a new sheet with this, you can email it, you can do all kinds of things with Google Charts. So now hopefully you have an idea of how to create a chart, the different types that are available, and how they look after you do it. Next, we're going to cover one last thing in charts, which is just some of the advanced things you can do around scatter plotting and whatnot. Uh, and then we'll move on to the advanced section. Get excited.